Hey, it's Raf. I'm 3.5 months on T, 24 days post-op, and here to tell you a story about the dumbest way my subconscious thought I could lose my nipples. So, I had a dream the other night about losing my nipples, which I feel like is a fear that a lot of people who go through top surgery have if they opt for nipple grafts. My partner and I had like almost synchronized panic attacks because we thought that we had peeled off a nipple, but they were actually just like a layer of a scab. So I wasn't too consciously fearing the loss of my nipples, but apparently my subconscious is. The dream I had was, all right. So as I've mentioned before, I live in Canada, which is, you know, the land of bears and moose and maple leaves, I guess. The area where I live, Vancouver, it's not typically like populated by bears and stuff. We do have like some coyotes that run around sometimes, but that's a different story. There are like hiking trails that do sometimes have bears. And so in my dream, I was walking along my very chill neighborhood and we had, in my dream, a neighborhood cub, which was part of our neighborhood, I guess. I was like, so I was walking and, you know, minding my own business, probably walking Juno. So we were hanging out and then I like see our neighborhood bear cub and I'm like, hey, neighborhood bear, you're like getting bigger. Hey, and I'm like playing with the bear because that's a thing that my dream thinks is normal. And so I'm playing with the bear cub and the bear cub like claws my nipples off accidentally and I'm like, oh no. And so I'm freaking out and then I like pick up my nipples off the floor and like I'm panicking and like don't know what to put them in. And so my partner and I like grab like some Ziploc bags from the apartment, but like they were really random Ziploc bags that happened to have vegetables in them. So we put my nipples in the Ziploc bags that had vegetables like green beans and lettuce and stuff. And so we're walking around with like a Ziploc bag with nipples and vegetables. And we rush to the emergency room. And at the emergency room, I see my surgeon and I'm like, please put them back on, I want them back. And he's like looking at this Ziploc bag and he's like, no, I can't, it's too late. And I'm just like horrified. And I just like wake up in a cold sweat. I'm pretty sure that's my subconscious telling me that like, I like having them on and I don't want to lose them. But I do feel like I have some fear of like, once I don't have to wear like bandages or compression binders anymore, that they would be more exposed and like more susceptible to like my dog accidentally scratching them off or like my cat accidentally scratching them off or neighborhood bear cub that doesn't exist scratching them off. So that concludes story time, which I figured why not because I also didn't have like a lot of tea updates to share today and I wanted to save my next post-op update for like after my one month with the surgeon, which by the way, is gonna be on Monday. I'm looking forward to that and I'm really, really hoping I don't have to deal with binding anymore because my scars and my skin are just starting to get very, very irritated by the binding. So I'm hanging in there till Monday. Probably after editing and uploading this video, I'm gonna like get ready because I'm gonna see my boy Steven tonight for a double date because I bumped into him on YouTube because we were both vlogging our transition. And the funny thing about like our transition journeys is that we are on very, very similar timelines. His HRT started like roughly two-ish weeks before mine did. And then we have the same surgeon and my one month follow-up is his surgery day which is wild to me. And then like the other plot twist we discovered is that we have the same birth name and his birthday is the same birthday as my partner. So, trippy, universe, what are you doing? Still don't really know how to edit videos. My art Instagram has been pretty dead for a bit, but I will draw something new at some point. <laughs> yeah, bye.